Hey my babies, welcome back to my channel. Sugar Raya J and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the topic. Yes, I am on my bed with no clothes on. Just took out my doodle braids that I be having um, underneath my scarves and shit. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna be hearing about how do I feel about being a middle child? Hey, Wookie, I'm making a video. So, how does Raya J feel about being a middle child? Because y'all know my mother had three kids. She got Rini, me, and my little brother Isaiah. If you don't know, now you know. I'm the middle child. You know, a lot of people don't know me because I'm like the stepchild. You know, I'm like the I'm like the foster child that nobody knows. But I, shh, I didn't say that. You feel me? So, how do I feel about being a middle child? I feel honored. I really do. For all the kids out in the world that are gonna be middle middle children or are middle children today i want to salute you for real i want to take my hat off to you and i want to say my baby i salute you you know we know that it is not the easiest thing for us to be and and, and and we know that it's not the hardest thing as well, you know. That's why we the middle child, you know. We create balance. We 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 bring we bring uh, loved ones together, you know. We're very creative. We're very natural. We're very real, you know. We can't fake it. We can't, you know. Um, how do I feel about me being a middle child? Well, my mother had three kids. I just said that she had three kids. I just want to give you all the age brackets of me and my siblings my older sister is 32 she'll be 33 this year i am 23 and my brother is if i'm 23 i'll be 24 my brother just turned we're five years apart 23 he's 18 how old is my brother 19 my brother's 19 um yeah because we're five years apart so yeah, I don't know what was going on with my mother that she separated her kids like that, especially me and my sister. Um, you know, growing up it's all cool, but as you grow up, um, you know, you just you live you, you you have your own life. You do you live very different lives. You know, you're you realize that you're not as similar as you thought you were your entire life to your siblings as you grow up, you know. So, you know, I will always love my siblings. Uh we don't have to see eye to eye. Um, you know, there's no beef. There's no beef. We all just live our own lives. You know, some people click more than others. Uh, you know, hey, this is how life goes. I'm not complaining, but I, I don't know what was wrong with my mother uh, having her first kid, my sister, and then nine years later, she had me. Hey, inshallah, I'm just grateful that mommy, you gave me life. But um, yeah, this video is really short, simple, and sweet. Um, you know, I've, I've always been calling myself the, the black sheep of the family because I've just always felt very different from my family. I felt like the outcast. I felt literally like a stranger. You know, I felt like the Chloe in the Kardashians. <laughs> I did. You know, I felt like, uh, I think I need to go get me a DNA test because, uh, are y'all really my family? But, um, it turns out, yep. Me, my sister, my brother did come to, come from the same womb. My family is my family. Um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's the facts, you know. I, I feel like I'm so special. I feel beautiful. I feel very creative. I feel very intelligent. I feel very, uh, I feel very talented, you know. If you were to sit down and talk to those who have helped raise me or those who have uh had a a honor and helped raise me because you know it takes a village to raise your kid yeah so it took like a whole village to raise me but uh <laughs> they would all say raya has always been the same she's always you know she's she's a little anti you know um you know she never she didn't really you know i'm, I'm like i don't know it's, it's it's really i'm gonna try to explain it the best way i can i was very popular growing up but before i was pop i mean i was popular I was very popular growing up, you know, it's just inside of me, um, I guess because I felt so anti, girl, why are you sitting on my back? I don't know, I guess because I felt anti in my family, that caused me to feel like anti in the real world, you know, um, 
although people wanted to be my friend, I didn't really want to be people's friends. I didn't. I did not want to be people's friends. I feel like people do not understand me. You know, I'm so pretty and I'm so gorgeous. I'm so smart. You know what I mean? People used to call me Hollywood and stuck up. Get off. Excuse me. Get out my video. Thank you. Because I don't know. What are you trying to do? Um, if you want to make a video, we can make a video next. Um, what, what was I saying? This girl is climbing me like I'm a monkey bar. Um, how can I explain this, you know? As popular as I was growing up, I, I really, I felt like I really had a hard time. Because when you just want to be accepted... You would do things to make yourself be accepted. And, well, I'm going I'm to go real, I'm going to go into detail with this. Like, in the household, right? This was after my sister had left the household. Um, you know, she had had her first son. And then it was just me, my brother, my aunt, her man. And then um, she had his kids in the household. So she was like a stepmom to her man's kids. So we had a full household, right? But between me and my brother, my brother used to get on my nerves. I loved my brother. I, most of the fights that I had in my life was because I was defending my brother in the streets, real shit. But, you know, and the other ones was me. You know, bitches wanted to pop off and I had to show them that these hands work. You know what I'm saying? Just like this mouth can pop off, I can back my shit up, believe that. But, um, like this one incident, me and my brother was in the room, okay? And I was making up the bed. So I'm folding the blanket. And you know how you fold a big ass blanket and the blanket is partially on the floor? So that's what was happening. And my brother jumped on the blanket as I'm trying to fold the, bl fold the blanket. And, 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 and you know, straighten up whatever I was trying to do. And yeah, I was pissed. I was, I was like, Isaiah, get off the blanket. You see, I'm trying to do something. Get off the blanket. Isaiah, get off the blanket. Isaiah, get off the blanket. And he didn't get off the blanket. I said, Isaiah, if you don't get off the blanket, I'm going to pull a blanket. And I did. I yanked the shit out of that blanket. <laughs> I said, didn't I say get off the blanket? I think he got hurt or whatever. I, yeah, I think he got hurt. Like he hit his chin or some shit. And he used to do this thing where he used to fiend and go run into my arm. Ma, Raya, Raya did this, you know? And she would automatically bark on me. She didn't she didn't want to hear shit that I uh I had to say, you know, about how this happened, what's going on. It's automatically it's your fault. So one day she put me on punishment. And she put me on punishment, y'all. Uh, 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 well, this was the day she put me on punishment because she felt like I maliciously did this to my brother. She didn't care that I told him to get off the blanket several times. So that's why I yanked it because you're not listening. You know what I'm saying? So she called me in her room. She balked on me and she was like, now nah, you're going to sit on a timeout. First of all, I'm like 12. Real shit. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big girl. You know, I, I can logically remember this. And... She put me on punishment in her room. I'm sitting in the fucking corner and I'm crying, you know. So I used to have this, this thing where I used to break down and this is really the emotions that I used to have, y'all. I used to have these times where I just would break down because I feel these things that are happening to me are so unjustly ruled, you know. So I'm breaking down in, in the corner. Oh, this is not fair. This is not fair. I hate you. I wish my mother was alive. And she said, what? Come here. And she's like, what? Now you're going to... No, she said, not come here. She said, what? Now you're going to stay there for an extra 10 minutes. What? If anything, you should see that I'm a kid that needs help. Because I'm depressed and I miss my mother. You know what I'm saying? Not... This was way beyond the fact of my brother was on a blanket. I yanked... Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? That was wrong. I, I really should have never yanked the, br the blanket. I say, if you see this, I am... Sorry about that, you know, but you should have listened. This is the point of following instructions, you know, and, and listening to people. I'm your older sister. I'm, you see I'm doing something. You jump on a blanket. You jumped on a blanket. Listen, I yanked the blanket. We, we young. We kids, whatever. But I was old enough to know what I was saying in that corner, my babies. And she was like, oh, now you're going to stay there for 10, 10 extra minutes. 
And in my head, I said, what? You gonna make me stay in this punishment for 10, 10 extra minutes? Okay. And when I tell y'all, I sat in that corner. I'm gonna even show y'all the scar. Not that one. Yeah, that probably is it. Y'all see this scar? No, that's not it. Oh shit, it's fading away. That's not it. It was... Uh, it probably disappeared. I don't see it anymore. I really don't see it. It was right here. Like, Let me show y'all. It was more like right here. It, it actually faded away because that this right here is a new scar. But it was like right here. And it was, um, it was going straight down like that. So I sat in the corner when she told me 10 more minutes and I scratched the shit out of my arm. Scratched the shit out of my arm to the point where I started bleeding. So I told her, I said, Retta, I'm bleeding. She said, what? How you bleeding, Mariah? And I said, I scratched my arm. <laughs> and she just, she barked on me. And she's like, why are you sitting in the corner scratching your arm? What's wrong with you? Go clean that shit up and you know what I don't even remember how she reacted to that I just you know my aunt is a yeller you know she she's a yeller okay and she's a swing first talk later so I don't really remember what happened after that I just know she yelled at me what is you doing blah 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 oh I think I do remember I think I do my uncle was out her man at the time and he when he came in, she basically had a whole convention with me, her, and him about why did I scratch my arm. And I explained to them. I felt like the punishment was unjustly, and most importantly, I miss my mother. I feel like if my mother was here, half of the shit I wouldn't be getting in trouble for. Whatever. Um, what other uh, examples can I give y'all? With me, before my sister had kids, we were so close. We were like this. And then she had kids and she left the house and it was so sad for me. It really was. I mean, I was on the phone with my sister. Let me tell you, let me just give you a few uh, examples. My sister would, she used to, her, her number one passion used to be to sing. And I don't know if she know this or not, but my passion for music and singing actually came from her. Her being my big sister and her vibing out to Monica and Brandy in her room with her friends and stuff and her singing on the tape recorders and, you know, she used to love to sing. And she inspired, that inspired my dream, watching my older sister love her dream, you know? And then she had kids and she just, you know what I'm saying, you know, she just had kids and it's just like your life stopped because you have kids. You know, or you can't fully be there for your siblings because you have kids. You know, I don't know. That's 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 how it plays out in my head. You know, and I just remember. T I can give you three, three very memorable uh, memories that I have of me and my sister. The first one would be. The first one would be. <laughs> well, before she moved out, we used to share a room. It was the girl's room, which was me and her. And then the second room was the boy's room. My brother and then all my aunt's stepkids. And then well, obviously the last room was my aunt and her, and her man's room. And I'm a wild sleeper. I mean like this. Arms out. <laughs> legs out. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> she used to kick me off the bed on purpose, y'all. She used to tell me before I went to sleep. Mariah, I'm telling you now. If you put your feet in my mouth again, or you put your legs on me, I'ma kick you off the bed. So stay on your fucking side. <laughs> First of all, I'm like, I'm like n nine. How old am I? I'm like 10, nine, 10, 11, you know? I don't know, around, I'm young that age. And she's like 16, you know, whatever. It's probably even 17. And I just remember repeatedly getting kicked off the bed at night. Waking up in tears, in tears, my babies. I can start crying right now. My aunt used to bark on her. 
She used to bark on her. What is wrong with you? Why the fuck you keep kicking your sis off the bed? And her only excuse was she sleep wild. What kind of shit is that?